Welcome to our show brought to you by Xinhua News Agency. I'm Hong Yuanyuan in Beijing. Here is the China National Exhibition Center, which is one of the host venue for this year China International Fair for Trading Services. And today we are going to explore some of eye-catching items and services here in the exhibition. So let's start from the booth of Palace Museum. As you can see, it is one of absolutely one of the most popular booths here in the exhibition. And we are very pleased to have the guide from uh, Palace Museum, Zhuang Yin, join us today. Hello, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So today, show us around our booths of Palace Museum to explore some fine actors. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so how many parts are the uh, booths here in the Palace Museum? Okay, uh, this year the Digital Palace Museum experience is divided into three sections. So, three sections? Yeah, the first one is the Palace Museum community. It's actually featuring the online services and the digital services in general. Mm -hmm. And there is in the center part the virtual reality theater uh -huh. featuring a few a few virtual reality uh, episodes from our collection uh -huh. and uh, there is also a section featuring the digital collection of the Palace Museum. Mm -hmm. So as we can see the digital film screen has attracted a lot of visitors here. Yes. Very popular. Yes, uh, it's actually an uh, initi initiative starting in 2003 we start to uh, capture the 3D high resolution model of the architecture as well as the uh, object in our collection. And in this part, we feature the three grand ceremonial halls uh, starting from the, uh, and uh, it, it, it is on the central axis of the, of the capital city, starting from the hall of uh, uh, the hall of Supreme Harmony and the Central Harmony and the Irving Harmony. It features uh, the space, the architectural space uh, of the Emperor's grand ceremonies. So we can see that they, these are very high resolution 3D models of the architecture. Yeah, in this such a big screen, yes. it's a very high resolution. Yes. And actually, it also has the goggle version that you can experience it within the virtual reality goggles. So, so how many films do we brought here today? Uh, today we have uh, mainly three episodes. The first one in the three grand ceremonial halls, and uh, there is also a an episode featuring the corner tower, which is one of the greatest, uh, the, the most iconic structure inside the Forbidden City. And uh, there is also another episode about the archaeological survey inside the Forbidden City. Our archaeologists, archaeologists actually found out a lot of the uh, like remains of the uh, uh, lying lying inside the, the the ground of the Forbidden City. On the ground, we have so many traces about like ceramic shards or different layers upon layers, telling us the story about the Forbidden City and what comes before it. For example, the uh, imperial Palace of the Yuan Dynasty in like the 12th or 13th century. It's kind of revitalization of our cultural relics. Yes, yes, it, it is our hope that we could activate the dynamic of this kind of the essence, the material essence of the traditional culture in yeah. this way. Yes, uh, uh, in here, mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's another part of our show. Yes. You know, during our uh, during the time we combat the COVID nineteen pandemic, a lot of tourists cannot visit the Palace Museum themselves. Yes. So those digital apps and the mobile applications allow them to visit the Palace Museum everywhere around the world. Yes. Actually, uh, the COVID nineteen pandemic lockdown earlier last year 
made us to rethink how we can better serve our audiences. For example, the Palace Museum's official mini program, it, it is entitled the, the Digital Palace Museum. It's a mini program uh, installed in WeChat. What's great about it is that there is no need to download or install, install anything. And it's actually launched very fast and smooth as long as you have the WeChat app on your mobile phone. Ah, I and noticed there is a QR yeah. code. Let's try yeah. it. Yes. You can scan the QR code. Yes, QR. Mobile. It's a mobile application. Yeah. Yes. As we can see here, it's actually the portal to all the digital services that we conglomerate online. And uh, there is everything, everything you see here, it's all, it can, all can accessible from here. And free. Yes, free of charge and very quickly. If you want to look up some information very quickly, it's here, here that you can find everything. The painting, the object, the collection, as well as the tour. For example here, the tour. In of the, the Forbidden City, yeah. Okay. It's a panorama yeah. scene yeah. of the yes. Palace Museum. Yes, and uh, if you want to buy tickets or find any information about how to get to the Palace Museum, and uh, there are also the ticket information, yes. location, yes, and uh, uh, everything you need to know to visit the Palace Museum. And uh, there is also this section about the collection. About yes, the collection. about the collection of paintings and the digital collection online, the, all the information that you, if you want to check up everything that very quickly, you can find it here. So today yeah. in our booth, those big screen reflects all I can see in the mobile application. Yeah, so let's long check as, more. Yeah. There is something we need to hear you, okay. hear from you. Okay, we talk about it. Okay, let's move. There is also a part of VR experience. Yeah. And uh, these are first, first of all, <laughs> these are the mobile apps that's in the Palace Museum production. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, For example, this one. This one that you are looking for is called the Imperial Costume of the Emperor of the Qing Dynasty. Uh -huh. It actually features uh, all the costumes as well as the accessories used by the Qing Dynasty Empress for different occasions. For example, if he has, a, he has to go to a grand ceremony, there is a ceremonial costume that's very formal and very grand and exquisite. But in the evening, for example, the, if he wants to have some entertainment, for example, for example casual watching, watching, yes, watching some opera performances, he can dress very casually and there is this kind of informal dress. So Different dress in different locations. Yes. Yeah, we can all find them here. Yes, and uh, with all the historical evidences and uh, the costumes, objects, everything. Yes, very elaborate. Yeah. Okay. So we move to the. Let's start from. Yes, this part is our digital collection online and as well as on site. For example, this one is called the Panorama, the Panorama Palace Museum. As you can, we, we have, we, we had a... We so, had a so your, your book is really popular. There's so many media want to cover it. Yeah, so we, we, we had a sneak peek on our mini program. Actually, this is a desktop, des desktop version. And we have all the um, publicly accessible areas. Uh, put them online and actually we just launched a new version uh, earlier this week uh, it's earlier this week yes, it's a very brand new week. version yes the, uh, our product manager thinks it's very important to, to feature the past museum the forbidden city heritage architecture in different seasons because they look different oh. for example the when there is snow it looks totally different and extremely beautiful uh -huh. so we with 
with the help of those digital technology, there is no limit for visitors yes, to yes. visit the Palace Museum. Yes. Every corner and every uh, every details of it. Yes, and in every time. And for example, the for the Hall of Supreme Harmony, uh, it is impossible for us to give public access to inside the space because there are so many so many uh, artworks over there, and the carpet, the throne room is very fragile. But uh, inside the panoramic Forbidden City, we can actually introduce our audiences to all those features. So and get very, very close. Yes, yes. It's like 720 degree with 330 de degree and then with the sky and the ground. So you have very immersive experience about the, the yes. tour of the Forbidden City. And it's a VIP tour. VIP tour yes, with no... With no mo people, mountain people yeah. see this yeah. only one, only yeah. yourself, with yeah. the objective view. Visit the yeah. palace really museum, great. and you can experience also, for example, uh, the spring. What's what ah. the Pavilion City looks like in spring with all the flowers blooming everywhere. Uh -huh. so it's very romantic in a way. You, you can choose whatever season you like. Yeah. So I think adding the timeline is a very, very great feature here. So it's also available on our official website. Uh, official website is yeah. already available. Yeah. So if you cannot visit the Palace Museum, cannot visit this street fair, you can also visit uh, yeah. yourself online. Yeah. And it comes very handy when um, during the COVID-19 lockdown. Yeah. Um, maybe we can uh, move to the second part first. Okay. So here we can see the oh, 200 and uh, this one. Uh, maybe this one. Okay. Okay. Here we can see uh, a, a online, yes, a mini website uh, entitled "The Painting Masterpieces of the Palace Museum Collection." It features very ultra high resolution images of the um, our one of uh, our greatest paintings in the collection. For example, this one is called the. Uh, the life along the Bien River during the Pure Brightness Festival. Festival. It's actually in, I think it's 10th or 11th century. So a thousand years, uh, a thousand years have passed since its creation. It's a very well-known masterpiece. It's very, very popular among our visitors. But uh, because the painting is very old and very fragile, it's impossible to display it always. So it's like every three or four years, it will be put on display, and there are so many people want to see it. Yeah, I remember several years ago, people, it's hard to get a ticket first, and you have to queen for like yeah. hours and visit just three to five minutes. Yeah. And it's very small, and the, the lighting will be very dark, uh, because we have to protect the, the painting itself. Uh, but here you can see very very high resolution of it and if you zoom in enough to the details you can uh -huh. see the facial expressions on people and uh, we can see very clearly what they are doing on the street Some and the character on the flag yes even in some in some of the stores we can feature we, we, we can see very clearly what they are selling mm -hmm. and you can see the billboard over there uh, telling people what they are selling and what they are promoting over there so it uh, if you are for example an art historian it, it comes very handy when you study the painting it's impossible with the real thing but we can here. study very clearly, very yeah. clear. I can keep on zooming it. Yeah, keep on zooming to the detail as much as you like. <laughs> and for ordinary people who are interested in those, all those, what, what all those ancient paintings is about, it's also a very good tool yeah. for them to explore all those different features. So nowadays we have already over 600 paintings uh, online uh, on this platform. And uh, we uh, we plan to keep adding to this, uh, and uh, later maybe we will add calligraphy pieces over there as well. Ah, so we can expect more. Yeah, yeah. So we can see, I can see the camels entering the city gate. 
it gives us a very different uh, experience of visiting them in the museum uh, with, uh, without a glass, without the light, and then no hurry to visit it. So, so it's our turn. We can show show us more about it. The painting. The painting. Okay. What else? Yes. Maybe we can go back. Okay, sorry. Here we go. And this one is called, it, it, it's like the, the masterpiece. Oh, sorry. Okay. Maybe we'll do that. Okay. For example, we can, we can go to the front page and uh, there are paintings and uh, schools. You can, you can, you can give, you, you can see different schools. Uh, it has Chinese and English version. Uh, uh, currently, there is a Chinese version, but the English version is underway, uh -huh. and it will be soon launched. So we can see different paintings here from the Yuan Dynasty the, um, and uh, some of the Ming Dynasty paintings. It, it is very close. You can look very close to it. For example, these paintings, if you zoom by Wang Yuanqi in early Qing Dynasty, if you zoom in very clearly, and you can see that the brushwork, yeah. how the brushwork goes in, over there. Uh -huh. Because actually many of the paintings are very small, and if they are on display in galleries, they, are, they will be on cases, there will be distances. Yeah. There's no possibility to look this close. Yeah. But when you look, at, look this close, you can actually see how artists are executed, executed those paintings, how their brushwork resembles their teachers or for example their predecessors uh -huh. because in traditional Chinese painting it's very very important to feature the, the kind of inheritance the artistic inheritance from for example the Yuan dynasty the Song dynasty so uh -huh. actually this gives us a very very good place to study all those transitions and the inheritances uh -huh. details you can come to the website to say, okay, I uh, need to find some of the traditional patterns of flowers or plants. Uh -huh. Or if, uh, for example, if you're an art history student, you can find here samples or some of the most re representative uh, pieces uh, in traditional Chinese history. What the dragon looks like in Tang Dynasty, uh -huh. for example, or what's uh, like a statuette was made in the Song Dynasty, what the ceramic objects look like in the Qing Dynasty. Uh -huh. It's something that we, 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 we hope that we, it can help a uh, different kind of, it, it can meet different kind of need, demand from our public. So the new technology also helps to the public education yes. and yes. Um, uh, rather, uh, rather than just uh, relics, protection and research. So the last, last yeah. There is always one. this kind of ever-growing demand for cultural content from uh, the yeah. general public, and we are trying to we're trying to work very hard to find ways to meet those demands. Yeah, so lucky we are. <laughs> this is, I think, this is the most important thing, most important thing about the digital services that we should provide for the public. Uh -huh. And uh, this one is called the cabinet of digital, uh, uh, the, the digital cabinet of curiosities. Actually, the cabinet of curiosities is a sort of a, like a shelf, a shelf uh, inside the scholars, uh, for example, study to display his collections. There are so such kind of like uh, shelves, uh, small and large, everywhere. Mm -hmm. So that the, the most important thing is that actually he can just go there and uh, take one object from the shelf and, and study it, it. And yeah, see the bottom it. and also the yeah. inside of the yeah. collection. And, uh, this here we have wow, like... Wow, this is yeah. very beautiful. Here we have 236 um, uh, high resolution 3D models of our objects uh, in our collection. Uh -huh. And it's growing. It covers uh, over 12 categories in our uh, object collection. 
And uh, what's the difference of those 3D models with, uh, for example, the object you can find in galleries is that actually there is a distance there in galleries. Sure. Those objects will be in showcases uh, and you cannot touch it. Mm -hmm. You cannot like just put it in your hand and peruse it over there. But here you can turn it up, flip over to see, for example, the bottom. There, there are always there are always a ring mark on the bottom. Yeah, we noticed there's a mark. Here yeah, it is. Here we go. Yes. For example, this one is made in the Qianlong reign of the Great Qing Dynasty, and it's a very very important feature for ceramic objects. So and here you can flip it over. Number. Yeah, and for some of the cases or things like that, you can always flip them flip them over. Uh, yeah, and look and zoom in. As, as much as you like and to see different panels for example here on this on this base there are panels featuring the landscape of four seasons four and you seasons. can see that very clearly yeah and it can turn around it can yeah. move yeah rather yeah. than stand still in the cupboard of the yeah. museum and the, the beauty of it is that it's actually online uh -huh. and it's loaded very quickly so if you go to the official website of the Palace Museum, you can always find those digital cabinet of curiosities and find all those objects. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, very good tour. And we see a lot of digital technology, how to help make a better service for the tourists and visitors. Yes, it is and our hope. That digital technology to provide so much opportunities and so much possibilities. We hope that with the help of those technologies, we can better serve our audience and better preserve the cultural heritage in our collection. Thank you. Thank you, Joya. You so we move on to another okay. Thank see you. you. Later. See you later. Bye bye. So let's move on to another booth of digital technology. So this year, themed toward digital feature and service-driven development. The Sifties this year will run through September 7th, featuring a section for digital service here for the first time. It is we are now in the digital service area, so we are going to visit another booth of motion capture. The China International Fair for Trading Services will provide people with a great opportunity to get a sense of the world's digital future. We can see there is a dancer. Ah, 
So our technician is calling the male character. And the two characters will have some We'll have a dance together. Though the two real person is really far away. Ah, they're both waving their hand. So what we are going to see in the screen? Oh, uh, this is our the new tech uh, technology. Uh -huh. uh, uh, it's including uh, optic track system uh, and uh, the fifth G, uh, fifth generation. Uh -huh. uh, and the real time engine. Uh -huh. uh, so you will see. Three of them on the screen. Yes, yes. Uh, there are uh, one, uh, one real person. Yeah, one real person Here. and uh, two digital uh, characters. Digital characters. Yeah. And the one is standing here. Yeah. This picture is captured yeah. by this camera. Yes, yes. Uh, and and the, the, uh, the other, uh, the female is uh, the another uh, digital human. Uh -huh. uh, uh, His picture uh, is captured by, by the, uh, the camera. eight cameras. Uh, there are eight cameras. Eight cameras. Uh, eight cameras yeah. uh, the eight cameras try the uh, actors markers mm -hmm. and uh, get the data <laughs> connect the real time engine. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the actor move and mm -hmm. then uh, the digital human uh, move at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let let them move at the same time, dance or have some movements yes, together. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's uh, do you you can. Ah, okay. Let, let's try it. <laughs> let, uh, you can try this. You can try. Oh, oh, oh. oh this one. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, another studio is Yijuan Studio. They're, uh, they're, uh, the same uh, optic track system. Uh -huh. uh, there is a new, uh, uh, there's another actor uh, there. Uh -huh. uh, they can also do the shape yeah, of part. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. They are also doing the shape of part in real time. Yes, yes. In real time. In real time, good. And the male one is far away from here. Yes, yes. But his digital image is, is reflecting on this screen now. Yeah, yes, yes. So shall, 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 shall we let them dance okay. a little bit? OK, OK. Uh -huh. oh, oh, hold on. Uh, so what, what the future implication for this uh, technology uh, motion? Uh, uh, I think this will, uh, they, are, uh, uh, they are used to be in the uh, movie, mm -hmm. uh, game, and live streaming, mm -hmm. yeah, and visual, uh, visual reality. Yeah. This is a new technology. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are trying to do anything uh, mm -hmm. uh, about this because the, the fifth uh, generation is a new uh, technology. Um, so make it possible for the translation yeah, yeah, yeah. in the real time, use those motion captures, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, uh, we want to uh, use this and the real time engine uh, to the, the new system of production. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. We are very looking forward to it. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> can they dance together? Yeah, you, you can do it. Don't try this.
Oh, it's another actor. <laughs> he doesn't dance. Hear the music. Oh. Huh? It really depends on the current, uh, the internet, the yeah. transmission. Yeah. Eye-catching, a lot of uh, it's attracted a lot of visitors here. Yes. Uh, I think the digital is the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Year's China International Fair of Trading Services towards digital future yeah. and service-driven development. This is the digital future. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Maybe someday in the future we can see the real person and, the, and their twin fake digital image yeah, yeah. standing yeah. standing together, and yeah. we can tell which one is which one. Yes. Uh, now uh, there is a new word uh, named the Mater uh, Made Human. Mater Human. Uh, made Human. Uh, this is the future. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your introduction. So this is today's our show. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.